circles already making their way out for the next event, which is the men's 400 freestyle S8. Mark Maliar we saw go through. The Israeli swimmer was in lane number two, bronze medalist yesterday in the backstroke. Kyle Kornich, one of these French youngsters, goes in three. Ju Hydro from China. Four. Robert Griswold, gold medalist yesterday from the USA. He goes in five. And he has it off from Argentina. And goes in lane number six. Robert Griswold will take off confidence from the swim he had yesterday. Good swimming, the 100 backstroke. We'll be up against it today. Goes the Chinese swimmer, Ju Hydro. He was a Paralympic silver medalist last year. Ju Hydro goes in lane number four. 400 freestyle S8. missing his left arm because all of the other athletes either have a weakness all over their body or a specific weakness in their legs looks very very smooth the chinese swimmer too as he goes for that first 50 using those two good legs to get off the wall actually it was robert bristol was first into the wall there by three one hundredths of a second Robert Griswold will be trying to just track the Chinese swimmer to see what kind of finish that he can have at the end of this 400. Robert Griswold certainly. this 400 meters freestyle when you've only got one arm that's working it has to do so much of the work and you get such a burn in your forearm and your muscles and when everything your shoulder starts to hurt it can be a long race if that happens so it's all about trying to use the limbs that you've got available to you the movement that you've got available to you the functionality that you've got available to you to make the most out of it and make yourself the most efficient swimmer and we can see that if you didn't have a clock running alongside him you wouldn't actually think Zoo was going that fast if you had no reference point because he's just so relaxed but he's so powerful and his length of each stroke and his push off the walls that he's getting with those legs is really what's dictating his lead here today yeah very very smooth stroke indeed but very powerful goodness he's got that kind of straight arm there he's obviously developed that stroke along the years and uh, the Chinese swimmers he's had a lot of role models to follow it's kind of a style that was developed about a, a decade ago in the lead up to the, the Beijing Paralympic Games so a number of Chinese swimmers developed this style one arm swimmers and it's been very very effective over the years and this is just the latest in a long line of Chinese swimmers who employed 
this particular technique. He's going very well. He's stretching away from Robert Griswold, but the power of the Chinese swimmer is incredible. And I think the thing that is so impressive for the Chinese swimmer is how smooth he is and the lack of resistance he's created. He's pretty much swimming on his side, which is so difficult to do when you've got one arm because you risk missing out on all of that deep water to propel yourself forward. But he has this ability to recover almost on his side and flip to his front to get all hold of all the water. And we see him now going into the turn. He doesn't waste any energy. Only one dolphin kick off the wall. But the, the precision which he places his feet means that he gets such a powerful push off. And it just gives him a little bit of respite while he gets back up and into his stroke. Well, he's coming into the 350 mark now and the lead at the 300 was somewhere around about seven seconds Robert Griswold clear in second position and it's the Argentinian Vasilov in third place here just ahead of the young French swimmer Maya Kornich but here comes Zhu Aijo into the final 50 now no one's going to catch him now Liz so Zhu has left this race from start to finish. He had a bit of company from Robert Griswold down that first 50 meters, but really his class, the fact that he is the silver medalist from the Paralympic Games last year, has really shone through, and he'll enjoy this victory. Well, Zhu Aijo from China has led from start to finish. It is a very impressive swim from the Chinese Paralympic silver medalist. He is now the world champion here in Mexico City, 429.41 for Zhu Hydro from China. It's going to be silver to Robert Griswold of the USA. And the bronze, well, it's a good contest for bronze. Basilov from Argentina trying to hold off Melkonich from France. It's close, but it looks like it's going to Argentina. Basilov will get it, 453.94. So it's gold to China, silver to the USA, and bronze to Argentina. Blue looking quite happy. Like that. He looks quite fresh. He looks like he could have kept going. And that's a sign of a great technique. It was the only time in the race where he was headed because he was left on the block slightly. Once they got to here, that was the first turn. And here at the finish, there's no one in sight. Zhu Haijo from China. Takes the gold, 4.29. Zhu Haijo is the champion from China. Griswold the silver and Basilov from Argentina. The bronze. There's a hashtag for Twitter, hashtag Paraswimming. Liz Johnson has grabbed her telephone 